Zorro, <laughs> Cerno de Bergerac, the Three Musketeers, and the 300 Spartans at Thermopylae are all great heroes of fiction and history. Who has not dreamed of being the hero in a duel, or using a sword to save the honor of a queen, or to capture a kingdom? I was given that chance to actually pick up a sword and live some of that dream. 52 years ago, I followed a cute blonde into an after-school fencing class at Highland Park High School. The instructor, who became my fencing coach for three and a half years at high school and Highland Park JC, was Dick Perry. He introduced me to the exciting world of competitive fencing, was best man at my wedding, and has remained a lifelong friend. Thank you, Coach Perry, for all that you have given me. I then transferred to Michigan State as a junior in 1952 and was coached by Charlie Schmitter. We had a couple of good seasons and I still have great memories of the road trips. Following graduation in 1953, I spent three and a half years as a U.S. Naval officer, avoiding the draft. After discharge, I returned to Michigan and began taking private fencing lessons from Charlie here at Michigan State. His coaching skills and tactical advice helped us win five national championships and a gold medal in the Pan American Games. Thank you, Coach Schmitter, for being there when I needed you. These special men have been a great inspiration to me through the years, not only through the sport of fencing, but also by their personal conduct. And I can't think of a better way to repay them for all that they have done for me, except upon to pass on what they have taught me to younger generations who also dream those great dreams. Every time I conduct fencing practice at the University of California, Davis, I wear my green MSU warm-up suit as a reminder to myself and to my students that this is where my competitive roots and loyalty still lie. I wish to thank all my friends and relatives for their support and attendance this evening, and I especially wish to thank Michigan State University for bestowing this great honor on this battered but unbowed Spartan warrior.